Just finishing our batch of 3D prints. This is actually something from my mom, but it's kind of interesting. Though. There's different materials you can get, and this is a TPU, uh, so it's a little bit, it's kind of flexible. And I guess you can even get different like amounts of flexibility. This is one of the more stiff, flexible types. This is just some lids for her, for her yogurt jars. But I'm gonna need to start 3D printing a lot more because some of the, the stuff I'm gonna do for the boat is gonna take quite a while. So I think this machine is gonna start running about 24 seven. I'm gonna install my, uh, this is the anchor light. It's a 360 degree white light that points all around and you use this when you are at anchor. And that one goes right here, I think. I 3D printed this little uh, washer so it'd be just the right size to, to hold it on here. Oh, it looks like it needs to be just a hair thicker. So I'm gonna go adjust the model and we'll print it again. It's only take a couple it minutes. It needs to pinch this onto that piece of aluminum on top of the mast. And I, I tried to print one and uh, it wasn't quite right. So I just need to what, make it a little bit, change the dimensions a little bit. Here's a part. It should be simple as clicking this face and then pressing it up. I'll go maybe 1.5 millimeters <clears throat> actually maybe one millimeter we are printing away on that i'm going to switch gears and go not finish mounting the the uh, vent and the extra chain locker I'm changing gears one more time it's pretty windy out there so i'm gonna experiment with this uh external uh microphone with the wind screen this one is called the uh, Inst Instamic, and it's pretty annoying because you have to use it with a, uh, you have to record the video with a different app. Never mind, this thing needs to charge, so we'll let it charge, and instead I'm gonna use this microphone, which the sound quality isn't that great, but I'm gonna experiment with using two windscreens, with one screen it wasn't didn't, didn't block out the wind. I had the composting toilet made just a little bit too tall, so I'm going to just cut inch and a half off of it, right here. Oh, darn, that divider is going to be hard to cut. The jigsaw did the trick, and I also cut out a little opening so I can um, put the urine container in and out. This looked like uh, some of the epoxy leaked out, so I need to top these off. Um, and then drill those out before I can uh, finish mounting those, so that will be the next job. They dry pretty quick now that they're in the sun. So that microphone, I listened to the audio and it was kind of crackly. Um, so I'm going to try so what someone else recommend, just putting a piece of, uh, of masking tape over the, the microphone on my phone. So there you are, all covered up. Now it's real windy, let's go back outside, see if the wind noise improves. I'd say we have about 10 knots of wind now. I'm going to put a hole in this chair because it keeps filling up with water. I ran out of my spot there. I'd say that was a failure, but I think there's one more microphone. I got the front and the back, but I think there's one on the bottom of the phone too, so I'm going to cover that up too. Let's do one last wind test. And still about 15. Maybe 12 knots of wind right now. I'm gonna flip the camera around and try that too. This is a wind test with the tape over the microphone. I need to drill out these uh, holes got painted over. Uh, I didn't actually mean for these to get painted. Okay, I think I got them all. Um, I'm not sure if it's okay that the transducer has paint on it too. I might have to come scrape that off. I'll just leave that as it is now and I'll just come scrape it off if I need to. Once it's in the water. I'm at the Habitat for Humanity Restore and I just found a new door for my building. The front door was looking a little rough. And I also stopped by Ace and I got a, a new roof. They're going to deliver it. It cost me $2,422. But it didn't seem too bad. I got I got metal roofing roofing called uh, ga Gavalum, and uh, I should be here next Tuesday. 
UPS guy just came and we got a little tripod. Once I get the uh, stanchions mounted up, I can start to build the bulwark. And then this tripod looks pretty cool. It can kind of grip on things, which I'm always kind of nervous to use a tripod uh, on the boat because it can tip over, but this could kind of grip around things maybe. So a big thanks to Cody Smitty for sending this over. Um, these are items on my Amazon wish list. A big thanks to everybody else who has contributed. I know I've been kind of bad about um, trying to give people shout outs, but maybe with the daily vlogs I can do a better job. And that Amazon list is in the description if anyone else is interested in purchasing things. This is pretty cool. So I have a full-size tripod and I have a really tiny one. This one's kind of in between. So I think this will be nice for the, for the vlogging videos just to get some more perspectives. This has been driving me crazy forever. I'm gonna finally fix it. That looks awesome. So good. And I got this thing mounted up too. Very happy with those. And this deck plate can go down here for when I'm ready to use it. Next to my bills come here. Thank you Marine Depot Direct for sending over this nice cowl vent. I really like how shiny it is. Let's grab the 3D print. Uh-oh, that's a failure. Let's restart it. So uh, it looks like it kind of came off the bed right there. Let's see if I try again. Surprised. Okay. It looks like print number two was a success. That's the thing about 3D printing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And when I went to put it on the mast, it fit perfectly. So now I just need to connect the wire. I was gifted this uh, really cool um, uh, fortress anchor. So this is like kind of like a Danforth style flukes, but it's made out of aluminum, which uh, this is a backup anchor. I'm okay with it being a little lighter. I'm going to swap out the anchor, my, my secondary anchor on the bow here. I mean, on the stern for this anchor. This is my old galvanized anchor. And these anchors are hard to beat. I'm just trying to lower the weight that I have back here out hanging over this. The new anchor is a little bit narrower, so I've got to um, move these little grippers on the anchor bracket. I was thinking instead of this foam, it like, might look nice to wrap some, some rope around here. And that's just to keep it from clinking around. So it looks pretty nice and, uh, and it will keep it from bumping and making a rattling noise. And then this is just on here with a, a little bungee. That won't last forever, but should be good enough for now. So the water hose is kind of nasty actually, like it's yellow on the outside and it's got, I don't know, it's got a lot of gunk on the inside too. So I actually have a bunch of extra of this hose someone gave me, so I'm going to um, swap that, the water hoses out. Um, and I'll also figure out clean out this, I've never even, I didn't even know there's a filter here to clean. So the pressurized water works like this, so that the water comes from the tank, through the filter, to this pump. And then this is like an uh, accumulator to kind of hold, save the pressure so the pump can turn off. And then um, and then it goes out to the shower and out to the uh, the faucet. And then here's my, my showers back there. So there's a little bit of gunk in here. It'll be good to clean out. There's the old stuff and the new stuff. We hooked it up there. And then I'll just feed it through this engine bay and then back into underneath the sink towards the water tank. Man, I just barely made that long enough. I don't know if it's even gonna fit. I'm sure I can get one a little bit out. Okay, so I need to put this hose clamp on here. There you go. Come on, you. Go on. All right, so that should give me water now. But I wanna replace a few more lines in there. Now I'm going to 
change the hoses on the fresh water pump. So here's that pump. I'm going to remove the... So there's some nasty, nasty stuff floating around in that, that water pump. So I'm going to do my best to clean that out. Ugh. Yuck. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. Oh, it just keeps coming. I'm soaking this in a little bit of uh, bleach water, um, and I, I got most of the crud out. But I'm thinking since that pump is so nasty, what I'll do is I'll just swap them. So I'll use my new pump for the uh, for the fresh water, and I'll use this old nasty one for the uh, for the salt water pump, since that's just for washing dishes. Just remove my new pump, which was right there. So I'm just gonna swap these. That will go there. That will go there. Remove these hose clamps. I just realized these pumps aren't exactly the same. They're actually mirrored. Um, I sub I wonder if you could take it apart and you can flip it around. I suspect that might be the case, but let's see if it's still, they still go and, uh, it actually would have been better to have them the way they were originally, uh, so the hoses go backwards, but that's probably okay. The, the heat gun seems to help, uh, loosen up some of these connections, especially since the, the sun's going down. It's not as supple. The old hose got a little bit hard and hard to work with. No idea how I'm gonna get that next one out back there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I finally got all the hoses done in this area replaced. And man, it was, this was not worth the effort, I don't think just to clean out these hoses. Um, and uh, I'm still using the old pump and accumulator, just sanded out the hoses and cleaned out the plastic fittings. So I was doing pretty good. I got up to here and I changed out even this line, but then I got into here and I don't know how I'm gonna get that hose out, especially because these uh, gray fittings are like too big. It's hard to get the hose over them. And then I also was like, well, might as well change the shower um, hose. But then, uh, that one uh, would have to basically um, take apart the whole shower to get that, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, these hoses, again, that's a shower one, so I can't get to that one. I don't really care about the hot water quite as much. I think I'm just going to finish up the foot pumps and then call it a night. Uh, then I'll have a work fun fully functional uh, uh, water system. Okay, that's two more hoses replaced, and I have done every hose. Um, all of the water hoses on the boat, except for uh, four. There's four left to do, and those are gonna have to wait for another day. I just, I just can't, can't get to these right now. But that should, hopefully, that'll make a difference in my drinking water. <laughs> Fill the tanks up. We got about a quarter tank of water, and let's start with the foot pump. So first, prime the system up, and feel water. Close. Hey, that's great. Now for the uh, pressurized water, the pump came on. Try cold. That's not working. That's not working. Oh, no, we're getting cold water. Checking here if it leaks. Well, we got the uh, manual water working pretty good. I'll have to troubleshoot the uh, the automatic pump uh, a little later. Uh, but on a good good note, I do get a um, I'm done putting the water tank in, so now I can uh, rebuild this berth over here. So that'd be nice to have put back together, and the boat will start finally start feeling like a, like a boat again that I can move into. Um, see you guys next time.